This is a shame that you have sh the showrunners and even some of the actors for The Witcher Blood Origin that don't understand as to why Henry Cavill is leaving. And yet, here we have the original voice actor for Geralt of Rivia from the video games, and he understands why Henry Cavill is leaving. Geralt, the video game actor, and why he thinks Henry Cavill left The Witcher. As his swan song approaches, Geralt, the video game actor, Doug Cockle, shares his thoughts on why Henry Cavill is leaving The Witcher. During a recent appearance at FCM Comic Con, per Reddit user Max547, Doug Cockle addressed the ongoing reports of Henry Cavill's Witcher exit. The Geralt video game actor specifically took note of Cavill's reported creative differences with the writer's room on the Netflix show, praising Cavill's love for the source material and acknowledging the show's various changes. Check out what Cockle said in the video's discussion below. So, this is n not a good sign when you have someone who enjoys the source material and them leaving. And then you have the showrunners that want to completely change it and go their own separate route. And yet, here we are seeing the original voice actor praising Henry Cavill for what he's doing. Even he knows the way the showrunners are going isn't going to end well. And this is what Doug Cockle says. This is the summary of the video below, but we're just going to go over the summary. If that's the case, I can completely understand that because Henry is such a huge fan of the games and the books and the writers on the Netflix series have chosen... For whatever reason they did so, to devi uh, deviate quite severely from the books and the games. Whether that's good or not, that's down to what you like. I personally don't understand the choice, but there you go. I think that's why Henry's leaving. You see, this man has common sense. Doug has common sense. Even he is baffled by how the showrunners are deviating away from the books and the games. Which is what made the fans truly want to see the Witcher come to the big screen. Just like the Lord of the Rings with the original trilogy. It, it appeased most of the fans, but obviously some people, when converting source material from the books to film, it is very difficult to appease the hardcore fandom. But somehow Lord of the Rings was able to appease mostly everyone until obviously the Hobbit and Rings of Power came out. Yeah, those are a, li a bit iffy, but... Obviously, The Witcher isn't going down that path. It is going down its own separate path, and it will continue to fail. So right here, we have a few examples of why uh, the books are way different compared to the show and how they're differing. Through critics have been generally favorable for both seasons of the show. Fans of The Witcher books have proven largely critical of the Netflix series, particularly for the various changes made to Zabkowski's source material. One of the more egregious changes came in The Witcher Season 2 when Freya, Alan, Ciri, and Anya, Chalotra's Yennefer first meet and begin interacting. A dynamic those who followed both the novels and CD Projekt Red's video games were looking forward to given their mother-to-daughter-like relationship. Instead, the show saw a more menacing take on their interactions as Yennefer only intended to sacrifice Ciri to the deathless mother in the hopes of regaining her magic. With Geralt losing his trust in who is supposed to be one of the biggest love interests. And another change from the books was that. Uh, right here. It has ruffled fans feathers that has been a relationship between Geralt and the traveling bard Yaskier. Or Jaskier. Jaskier. <laughs> Also known as Dandelion in the fantasy novels, though considered a close friend of Geralt in the books, The Witcher show sees a titular monster hunter frequently treating Jaskiad in contempt, even putting him in dangerous situations without necessarily caring for whether he survives the situation. The Witcher season 2 did not see some closer ties between the two characters, though in a season rife with many other book changes, it wasn't seen as enough of a shift back towards the source material. Even in season 2, I may be recalling this wrongfully, but I didn't see, there were hardly any interactions between Geralt and Jaskier, right? Or am I missing something? I don't, I don't remember them being in scenes together that often compared to season 1. Maybe that was just me because I forgot about it because of how bad it was. But will the future Witcher seasons fix these changes? Hell no! If you're having Henry Cavill 
who is a fan of the source material, the books, the games, and yet you see him leaving. What do you think is going to cause these showrunners to want to fix the complaints the fans are having? They won't. It's already too late. They've already showed what they're doing, and it's already late. We can continue to expect the upcoming season, season 3, and then season 4, to just continually get worse and worse. If this is what is happening, because we have someone who loves the franchise, and the showrunners didn't listen to him because of him complaining or being hard to work with, even though he loved the IP, because he was seeing the IP get butchered by these people, and now he's leaving. So will these fix it? No. Anyways, I'd like to hear your guys' thoughts on this. I hope you guys subscribe, and I'll catch you all in the next one. Bye-bye.